hello everyone welcome back to the channel this is Sanjay Parashar and in our previous tutorial we created all the artifacts of JMS Java messaging service in our web logic which is a very important part of using JMS queue or JMS topic in our SOA project so today we will be demonstrating how we can use JMS adapter in in a SOA project how we can publish a message to a queue and how we can consume that message and every important aspect of it however if we have not seen the previous video where we created all the artifacts of JMS in weblogic I highly recommend you guys to first check that I will also uh, give link of that video into description so if you have not seen that video please see that video first and then you can see this one so in our last video we created uh, we first created this queue then connection factory then topic and then outbound connection pool so now let's start with the development so in my J developer I have created one application uh, which is IG JMS application demo so all the all the services that we will be all created uh, as part of JMS we will be creating those projects in this application so to create a new project control N and then search for SOA project so we'll, we are creating a service named message publish service click on next let's create a Beeple project and let's make it synchronous so that the the one who will be calling this service will get to know that the service has published the message successfully we are going to use a very simple simplified example however in real projects these payloads will not be as simple as this one where we have only one input and output but if we understand the concept then it doesn't it does not matter how complex or how simple the schema or the payload is so this is how this is what it is created at the moment and under the external references where we will be publishing the message to a queue we will insert a JMS adapter Let's select Oracle WebLogic JMS. Click on Next. We'll click on Next. And here we want to produce a message because whenever we want to consume a message, at that time JMS adapter will be on the exposed services side. However, at the moment we are creating it from to the external references. So this will be produce message. and here uh, we will need to give the JNDI of outbound connection pool here and the queue JNDI will come here so this is the JNDI that we created as an outbound connection pool and under the destination we will give that queue name that we created and just to narrow down the search let's select queue here and this is the module that we created here is that queue and we will need to again change it after putting the queue name that we created in our previous tutorial and the outbound connection pool JNDI name we will click on next and here either we can keep it as opaque the binary uh, base 64 data or we can give a schema so let's give a schema which is there of the people uh, which was created as part of people only however we can give a custom schema or any other schema as well let's give it as a process only we click on next finish so now the publish to queue JMS adapter has been configured so let's map it and in people let's do the coding to invoke 
our JMS adapter and we'll give it to some value. Invoke. We'll give it a name. It's a one-way process, so there will not be any output variable. And now let's assign some values to it. Whatever user gives, we will assigning that as input to the JMS queue and we are assigning some value to the synchronous output so that we know that there is no error. However, it is not mandatory. You can create it as a synchronous or one-way process as well. But just for the simplicity purpose, we created this as a synchronous. So now just to summarize what we did, we used QJNDI and Outbound Connection Pool JNDI in our JMS adapter to configure it. And we used a schema which was already there in our project that could be of anything. Whatever the type you give here, it will be at the head by the queue that you have created in WebLogic. And after that, under our Beeple process, we have assigned the value to the queue and we have assigned a value to the output of that service. So now let's deploy it. So I have created a folder or a partition id underscore jms demos. So we will be deploying all our JMS related services to this partition only. So let's deploy it. So the service is deployed. So now let's publish some message to the queue. So this is the home page of Enterprise Manager. We'll go to the SOA Infra and we will locate the service which has recently been deployed. So under the deployed composite only, you can see it is on the top. So this is the service, we can simply click on test. We can give any value as an input. So as you can see, it says that message published to queue. However, as there is no consumer to that particular queue at this moment, so that message should be sitting in the queue right now. So let's check that queue. With queue, we can actually check if how many messages are already there in the queue which has not been consumed yet. So these sort of things we can do with queue. However, with topic, we cannot do that by default. However, there are certain ways we can create some durable subscribers and check if that durable subscriber messages has been picked yet or not. But again, that's a different thing altogether that we will try and cover uh, in later on tutorials. So let's check that if the message has been published successfully to the queue or not. So under messaging, we'll go to that queue that we have created and we, for that we must know which module that we have. We created IGJMS module and we created this queue. This is the queue where we published that message. Here under the monitoring, we can see that, you know, there is one message which is, a, which is there and there is zero consumers. So we can click on this message and we can see what message it is. And if we click on this ID, we should be able to see this message. Today, we have successfully published message to the queue. 
in our next tutorial we will try and consume this message from this particular queue and we will also try and publish and consume messages from topic and then later on on runtime on on our enterprise manager itself we will see the difference between queue and topic and how the queue is one to one and how the topic is one to many so we will be figuring that out in subsequent tutorials i hope you are enjoying this uh, jms series that we are creating right now jms is a very important topic and every soa developer should be well versed with the concepts so thank you so much for your time take good care of yourselves and you have a nice rest of the day bye bye